Hi everybody, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making a quick, easy, delicious, nerdy cookie and it's gonna be coming right out of the Pokemon cookbook that is filled with surprisingly a lot of easy and fun recipes for all the Pokemon lovers in your life. Now I will throw a link down below in the description so you can check out this recipe book for yourself. It's right on Amazon and it's actually very inexpensive and I just, I had to get it. I had to get it because it's Pokemon and why not? Look at that delicious Pikachu rice cake. I can't wait to make that. Now let's go ahead, grab our non-brand specific chocolate sandwich cookies and a couple chocolate chips and let's get started on an easy nerdy cookie recipe. To start off on a piece of parchment paper, long enough for all 28 unknown Pokemon shapes, sketch out your unknown Pokemon letters A through C, along with a question mark and exclamation point. Once done, invert your template so the pencil doesn't lift on your chocolate. Now when it comes to melting your chocolate, I'm going to suggest we temper it. To temper your chocolate, place your chocolate in a plastic or silicone bowl in the microwave and heat on high for about 30 seconds. Heat again for another 30 seconds, stir, then 15 seconds, stir, then 10 seconds, and stir. Make sure your temperature never goes above 90 degrees for dark chocolate, 86 degrees for milk chocolate, and 84 degrees for white chocolate. This is where a thermometer is definitely going to come in handy. If your chocolate is not fully melted, then only do another 5 seconds until it is. Either way, don't rush this. Just follow these steps, your chocolate will be tempered and ready to use. So you'll place your tempered chocolate in your piping bag and pipe circles of chocolate on top of your 28 unknown Pokemon circles. After you're done piping on your tempered milk chocolate disc, it's time to move on to that next step. While the chocolate is still warm, you want to place each chocolate sandwich cookie right on top and as centered as possible in the middle. The melted chocolate is going to help our cookie stay in place when we move on to the next step of assembling our nerdy cookie. So grab more of that melted chocolate in a piping bag, make sure it's not too hot and begin decorating with your outline of your unknown Pokemon cookies. Grab your piping bag of dark chocolate and use the chocolate like a pen to draw each unknown Pokemon shape following the outline that you drew on your parchment paper. Of course, as you were piping on your tempered chocolate, be sure to give each cookie a nice little dollop of melted chocolate right in the center on top of your cream filling. Once your milk chocolate has set and firmed up, grab some of your tempered white chocolate. Again, make sure it's not too hot. Put that in the piping bag and go ahead and cover the cream part of your chocolate sandwich cookie. You can also use the time that you're piping your white chocolate to clean up any imperfections you may have had, like I did, when piping on the dark chocolate. As you can see, some of the creams have a little bit of chocolate cookie crumbs, and a little bit of melted chocolate that spread too far. So I'm gonna use my white chocolate, clean that up a little bit, and make sure these cookies are as symmetrical as possible. After your white chocolate has set and firmed up, that's it, you're done. Super quick, super easy, super fun, unknown Pokemon cookies. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll throw a link to that cookbook down below in the description. Be sure to check it out, it's super fun, it's super easy, I flipped through it. Can't wait to try more of these desserts, but I'm gonna go. It's like super hot today, super humid. I need a cup of iced coffee, gonna eat some cookies, and maybe enjoy the day. Hope you all get to do the same, and I don't know what that was, but anyway, as always, I will see you all in the next video, uh, hopefully very, very soon. But until then, 
Bye bye.